Mobile's economic well-being will be tied up in congressional budget talks this spring. Some are calling for a cut to the LCS program, the main source of work at Austell, Mobile's largest private employer. Today, Peter Albrecht sat down with Austell's president, who remains quite optimistic about the company's future. With four ships out in the water and six ships in the bays under construction, Austell USA is as busy as it's ever been. We're over 4,000. That's 4,000 workers putting together the high-speed vessels, now known as the EPFs, and the littoral combat ships, or LCSs. Recently, though, that program has come under fire from the Defense Secretary, Ash Carter, who wants to cut the program from 52 to 40 ships, and from a GAO report that says the ships don't have the firepower nor survivability that they need. Our approach has been never to overreact to the, you know, to the, uh, to the challenging times or, the, or, or some negative information that comes out, and never overreact to the positive information that comes out. Also, President Craig Perciavalli says building the 13 LCS under contract will keep things busy on the Mobile waterfront through the year 2020 at least. In the meantime, Austell engineers are busy redesigning the ship under Navy guidelines to make them fast frigates in the future. When that happens, the Navy could choose one shipyard to build all of that class of ship. Right now, Austell builds half the LCS, with the other half being made by Lockheed in Wisconsin. We are very, very confident in the, um, the capabilities and the flexibility that our sea frame and our solution has in meeting the long-term needs of the Navy, and we think we're at a competitive advantage there for sure. Despite questions from the Defense Secretary and funding challenges in Congress, Percy Valley says the best news about the LCS is that Austell's customer loves it. The Navy's uh, focus over the last few years and their support for the program has been pretty darn consistent, though. The Navy loves the ships. All the feedback that we're getting is that, that these are ships that they need, these are ships that they want, these are ships that they like. As for the EPF, or High Speed Vessel Program, Austell has delivered six ships to the Navy with four more under contract and additional two ordered, but not yet funded. Persia Valley says EPFs have been deployed off Africa, in the Middle East, and in the Pacific, and have gotten very positive reviews from the Navy. In the newsroom, Peter Albrecht, News 5.